All right, here we got a chi-square test of independence. I've already drawn a few things on to help us. So this is a survey of 1,171 students and it's thinking about linking gender with sport played and a chi-square test uh, of independence. So let's get into it. A, the null hypothesis. Well, the null hypothesis is always that there's just nothing going on. And then all we do is we copy and paste the two categories, sport preference is independent of gender. And that's that, B. Now B is a bit naughty, it says calculate. Now normally you can get this straight from your calculator when you do the table of observed and then you do the test and you can get the table of expected it does say calculate so there is a magic formula for us it's um, row total times column total divided by the total number surveyed now you can see that the row total is the boys which is 660 the column total is basketball which is 336 and the total number is 1171. So yeah, I'm afraid you just have to do those totals. And we'll go to our calculator to get that. So it is, let's get a fraction out. It's 660 times 336. And then divided by 1171. Enter. And then we can go and grab this and change it, control, enter for the approximate sign. We can change it to actual number 189.4. So we just go back and write that down. Uh, 189.4. And I suppose that three sig fig is approximately 189. Okay, C. Go ahead and let's do a, um, a test, chi squared test of independence. So we get this guy again, and then remember we need to enter a matrix, so menu, matrix, and we can create, all right? There is a shortcut to get there as well. Uh, this little button next to the nine, we can see this little guy here, and then we can do a shortcut. Now it's two rows, that's the gender, and there's one, two, three, four columns, and that is uh, one, six, five, one, nine, one, Two zero three and one zero one on the bottom it is one three three one four five one five five and seventy eight then we go store that so control var above the var is this little STO store We'll call that matrix A, press enter, and then we go ahead and do the test. Menu, statistical test, and remember it's a chi-square two-way test, it's a two-way table. And the observed matrix is A, boom, there we go, p-value. So p-value is 0 0.982. And then D. Okay. And remember, if P is low, the null must go. Now we're testing at 5%, and 5% is 0 0.05. So we've got to compare the P to this. Is P low? Is P lower than this? Then no. Okay then. So because P is not lower, it's higher than this, the null does not have to go. We do not have sufficient evidence to reject the null and that's another way of saying that we hold on to H naught and assume gender and 
spot preference are independent.